Hey guys, Kenny here, Kenny Small Engines. Today we're going to talk about three post solenoids and four post solenoids. What they are, what they do, what the differences are, and why you need one over the other. The one on the left is from an old International Harvester Cub Cadet, probably from the 60s, okay? It's called a three post, and it's a three post, has a post on the left and right which connects your battery voltage and then a switching post which you supply positive to and it makes this connect with that okay the ground is the frame of the solenoid okay so as long as you screw it into your chassis and it's connected somehow to ground this will work the minute you put power to this it will connect this to that okay that's a three post solenoid okay three post one two three this is a four post solenoid as you notice there's four posts, battery in, battery out, one, two. Now, the way a four post works, these two on the bottom, it doesn't matter which one is ground and it doesn't matter which one is positive, but what's important on a four post is that the frame, framework is not the ground, okay? When you connect this to whatever, this solenoid still needs to get an external ground. And the reason for four post solenoid is a lot of the safety switches they have nowadays, okay? The safety switches in combination with each other work so that when the safety switches are working properly, it connects a ground to one of these terminals, okay? The other terminal is from your ignition switch to start your engine. So when you click your ignition switch on, it puts power to one, it doesn't matter which one, it puts power to one, but it needs a ground to make the circuit. Okay, in a three post, it's automatically grounded. The case is grounded. So all you need to do is put the power to it because on the old machines, there weren't a lot of safety switches except for maybe a pedal, pedal down switch. That's about it. All right, so four post, power in, power out, a ground lug and a stud for power. Okay, now you say to yourself, okay, I have a tractor that has a four post um, solenoid but I only have a three post in my inventory. It's Sunday afternoon, nobody's open. What am I gonna do? Well, let me tell you what I did, okay? I made myself a homemade four post. Let me show you what I did. I'm gonna draw a picture here, all right? Mums are doing really good. Look at these mums, guys. My mums are doing great. Okay, I'll draw a little picture for you. All right, I didn't have a pad of paper, so I'm gonna use a box. All right, so basically, uh, can you see that? Yeah, all right. So in a four post, you basically have the solenoid, you have your, say you're in, you have your out, okay? You have your post here and your post here. It doesn't matter which one's positive. Say this is positive, that's negative, okay. So you got your 12 volt in, and this is your out, okay? but you need to put positive on here and negative on here. Well, I only have a three post solenoid, okay? So I don't have a negative post. My whole frame is negative post, okay? So I say to yourself, what do you do? You don't wanna screw this to the frame because then it'll constantly be on, you know, it won't, it'll defeat the purpose, okay? So you say, now I got these wires coming in, all these wires, they're all coming in, they're terminating to an eyelet terminal, all right? And I'm saying to myself, how do I get that? to go to this, but only when it satisfies all of the safety switches. Well, this is what I do. I'll take a block of plastic or a block of phenolic, okay? All right, I'll screw in the solenoid to the phenolic. Now the phenolic is an insulator or plastic, it's insulated. It doesn't conduct electricity, doesn't connect ground, all right? So for example, if I have a block like this, okay? I'll put two, hole, two through holes in it to mount the solenoid. Then I'll put another two holes in it, through holes, and I'll use those through holes to mount it to the tractor, okay? Then what I can do is one of the screws that mounts that solenoid, okay? One of the screws that mounts the solenoid, it's going into plastic, so it's not getting any ground or anything. I can put that terminal onto that post, so now, when these satisfy your safety switch requirement, it'll ground out the case, okay? And then the case will have ground and the positive will work when you switch your ignition switch. So you can make a three post solenoid into a four post solenoid 
by isolating the solenoid onto something that's not conductive. So if this is on a piece of, imagine my hand's a piece of plastic. This is on my plastic, all right? I put positive to here, nothing happens because I don't have any ground. I take one of the mounting screws, okay, that goes on my block. See, here's a mounting screw right here. That screw goes through my hand or the block into the chassis, so there's a ground there. I'll attach my wires to that, okay? So that means, and then uh, what, oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna attach my grounding screw to the terminal, the screw that holds in this, because right now there's nothing there. It's into plastic or whatever. I'm gonna attach it to that. And right now there's still no ground until all the wires are satisfied. Once they're satisfied and all my safety switches are made, this gets ground. Just sitting there with no ground going to it, this isn't grounded, it's never gonna work. It's a standard three pole solenoid, okay? But by putting the wires to the chassis of it and giving it ground when all the safety switches are satisfied, this turns into a four post solenoid. So that's one way, guys, that you can take a three post solenoid and make it act like a four post. Now, a lot of people, when they don't have time, they'll just buy, if there's a three post around, they'll buy it and hook it up and they won't connect the safety switch lead to the solenoid. And the only thing you're doing there, you're defeating all your safeties. Don't do that, it's not safe. Will it work and will the engine start? Yep, you get a three post instead of a four post, you put power to it, it's gonna connect, it's gonna start your engine, okay? Because one lead always comes from the battery, the other lead always goes to your starter, okay? So by putting 12 volts there, it's already grounded through the chassis, boom. So you need to isolate it, okay? All right, I hope you guys learned something with this. I had a lot of fun doing it. And it was something I actually have done in the past. So if you've got any questions, comments, suggestions, put them in there. I'll try and answer them for you. So until next time, guys, we'll talk to you soon.